Hey guys, this is Mike Keenan here. Today I'm going to be going over how to configure single area OSPF, and I'm going to do that as fast as I can. We have a PC over here, we have a PC over here, PC2 over here. We have three routers that we're going to configure OSPF on. Now right now, the network does not know how to get PC1 to PC2, but we're going to go ahead and fix that using OSPF, single area OSPF. So really briefly, I'm going to go over the commands that we're going to use. Here are the commands that we're going to use for router 1 for router 2, for router 3, and down here we have just some helpful show commands for you. So starting off, what we're going to do is we're going to ping from PC1 to PC2 just to prove that uh, we don't have reachability yet. As you can see here, the uh, the pings are dying. He has default gateway configured for router 1, but router 1 does not know how to get him from network 2, um, PC2's network. So starting off, what we're going to do is configure router 1. We're going to configure in a loopback interface. Give it an IP address of... And what I'm going to do here is artificially lower the bandwidth of one of his interfaces just so that we can see OSPF in action. We're going to lower it quite a bit here. And now what we're going to do is configure OSPF on this router. So to do that, we're going to use the router OSPF1 command. And one is the process ID. It's not important to have the process ID be the same on all the routers. What is important is that the area is the same on all the routers. So what we're going to do is configure the networks that he knows about. So he knows about 10.1.1.1, I'm sorry, the 10.1.1.0, the 10.2.2.0, and the 10.4.4.0 networks. So we're going to advertise 10.1.1.0. We're using wildcard masks here. Put in area zero. We're going to do the same thing here configure that network, the 10.2.2 network, and finally he knows about the 10.4.4 network. And what we're going to do is, because we don't want this router advertising routes out of this interface, because there's no routers over here for him to um, become a neighbor with, what we want to do is, is turn that off for that interface, and to do that what we're going to do is use the passive interface command. Now we're going to go to router 2 and configure it. Give it a loop back interface. And now we're going to configure OSPF. Process ID of 1. And we're going to do the same thing for the 10.3.3 network. Because those are the two networks that he's connected to. And finally, what we're going to do... Oh, and you'll notice here, uh, he's established a, a neighborship with uh, router 1. And we're going to go to router 3. Interface loop back 0. IP address 3.3.3.3 router OSPF 1. He knows how to get to the 10.3.3.0 network. And he also knows how to get to the 10.4.4.0 network. Alright, let's see if uh, we got good pings now. And there you have it. So we have um, good connectivity from PC1 to PC2 using single area OSPF. Now let's go ahead and look at a couple of the show commands here. If we do show show IP protocols, you'll see that uh, OSPF is running. This is the command uh, that you would run to see if you have EIGRP or OSPF um, configured on this router. And there it is, OSPF process ID of 1. These are the networks that it's advertising. We have the show IP route. You'll see here, this is the route that it's learned through OSPF out of its gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface, this interface right here. And you'll see up here, OSPF capital 0, or capital O, I'm sorry. And then we got show IP OSPF neighbor, and there's his two neighbors. These are the two uh, loopback interface IPs that we configured previously. And show IP OSPF database gives us some other good information. Now let's go ahead and simulate a network outage situation here. Maybe not a network outage, but uh, we're going to go ahead and shut this link off by suspending it. If we look over here, the pings are timing out. But what we're waiting for is for the network to do what's called reconverge. And it's going to do that by, first of all, establishing that the, the link is down up here and that this link down here is available still. So it should reconverge here in a minute. The dead timer expired. Gigabit 0 slash 0 is down. And look at that. But the network has reconverged. And there you have it. That's how you configure single area OSPF. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.